The last part of your unit is developing your learning centers. In each one of your learning centers, you want to infuse your theme into them. So, um, as the example goes, we're talking about farm animals. I would choose five learning centers and I would open up the template that's provided in your course for learning center template and I would choose the sections that I want. So you should have five of these when you're done. So for the first one, I might choose the block center. So the center will be the blocks um, and then I would put farm animals, plastic farm animals, into the block center. The purpose of that would be so that children can make their little farms and with the blocks and, and uh, build farms with the farm animals. I might choose art as another one and put farm animal stamps in the art center. I might choose science and nature and in science and nature I might put books about farm animals or I could put them in the literacy section as well. In the music section I may put um, a CD of Old MacDonald had a farm so they can dance to that. And in dramatic play, I might put the farm um, animal, the cow costume that I was wearing, and put that in the um, dramatic play area. So those are five different centers, five areas that I've added to the learning center. There's no assessment in that, and you'll notice that there's no assessment because when the children are in learning centers, you're in one place, and children are in different places. There's no way for you to go around and assess everything that they're doing. Certainly you're keeping an eye on them, but there's no way that you can just watch that constantly. So it's just to provide and enrich their experience with whatever it is that they're, the theme is infusing into their learning centers. You don't have to choose the same ones that I choose. You can choose whichever themes, whichever five different centers you want. Um, choose the ones that are most appropriate for your theme.